Good evening everybody, Lynn here and um, just excited to be on here again for 10 o'clock with Lynn and today it is, I've got a guest coming in. Um, it is International Women's Day and I thought it appropriate to have a guest in. Hi Moira, who's going to talk a little bit um, about uh, the, the business that she's in and also what they're doing for um for women and um so i'm just going to give you a background actually i'm just going to hang on i'm just going to uh, refresh my page so i can see the comments coming in hi everybody uh see you all coming in lots of people coming in i saw maura i saw lucy i saw paul i saw juliet oh there's my guest juliet um so i'm just going to give you um a background on international women's day uh, because i was hi steve um i was interested to know more about the background of it um i actually didn't know when it had originated and that so i've just been doing a little bit of research hi everybody thanks for all the love hi cameron hi steve all the people coming in um so it's um in, in international women's day events are held worldwide on march the 8th various women including political community and business leaders as well as leading educators inventors entrepreneurs and television personalities are usually invited to speak at various events on the day hi amelia such events may include seminars, conferences, luncheons, dinners or breakfasts. The messages given at these events often focus on various themes such as innovation, the portrayal of women in the media or the importance of education and career opportunities. And then all sorts of other things go on through the day. Uh, um, it's uh, a public holiday in some countries and um, the background to it. Um, much progress. Hi, David. Hi, Nin. I think I see saw coming in. Sorry, I was reading a little bit about the um, International Women's Day, which it is today, March the 8th. And that's what we're talking about today. Um, much progress has been made to protect and promote women's rights in recent times. However, nowhere in the world can women claim to have all the same rights and opportunities as men, according to the UN. The majority of the world's 1.3 billion absolute poor are women. On average, women receive between 30 and 40 percent less pay than men earn for the same work. Women also continue to be victims of violence with rape and domestic violence listed as significant causes of disability and death among women worldwide. The first International Women's Day occurred on March the 19th in 1911. The inaugural event, which included rallies and organised meetings, was a big success in countries such as Austria, Denmark, Germany and Switzerland. Thank you. It is a wonderful day. Thank you. The first international... Uh, sorry, I've read that bit, haven't I? Um, sorry. Uh, there we are. Um, Oops, yes. The, the March the 19th date was chosen because it commemorated the day that the Prussian king promised to introduce votes for women in 1848. The promise gave hope for equality, but it was a promise that he failed to keep. There is an International Man's Day. Yes, I'll tell you in a minute, David. Um, the International Women's Day date was moved to March the 8th in 1913. The UN um, drew global attention to women's concerns in 1975 by calling for an International Women's Year. It also convened the first conference on women in Mexico City that year. The UN General Assembly then invited member states to proclaim March the 8th as the UN Day for Women's Rights and International Peace in 1977. The day aimed to help nations worldwide eliminate discrimination against women. It also focused on helping women gain full and equal participation in global development. International Men's Day is also celebrated and that is this year. It's on, um, oh no, each year it's on November the 19th. OK, so we will focus on that at another stage. But today it is National um international women's day the this uh, the international women's day logo is in purple and white how appropriate because purple's one of my colors that i love and features the symbol of venus which is also the symbol of being female the faces of women of all backgrounds ages and nations are also seen in various promotions such as posters postcards and information booklets on international women's day 
Various messages and slogans that promote the day are also publicised during this time of year. And I have to say um, that I have been tweeting today. I've been on Twitter a lot and needless to say, hashtag women's International Women's Day is has been trending on Twitter all day. And um, so I've been watching all the various things and all the various different tweets going out. So anyway, um, it seemed rather appropriate then to have a guest tonight. Um, I've been wanting to bring some guests into the broadcast so that it's not just me all the time. <laughs> I see you men having a little chat there. Anyway, so when I reached out earlier in the day to see if um, somebody would like to join me in, in the broadcast tonight, Juliet um, Fairbrass, uh, who, who I've, I've funnily, funnily, if I, I've, funnily enough, we've just um, celebrated a year of knowing each other. I think we, we, um, Juliet reached out to me and came to one of my White Buzz networking meetings and I think we've just had the anniversary of our Facebook friendship just came up. You know when you get it popping up in your in your feed. Hi Roger, uh, when you get it popping up in your feed that you've been Facebook friends for so long. Juliet and I have been Facebook friends for just over a year now. So anyway, I am going to um, bring her into the broadcast now and um, let her tell you more about her business and how her business is supporting women so let's see if i can just there bring her in now um juliet has been to bring her in and hopefully the connection will work <laughs> so um, yeah okay and my son's just sent me a message saying talk after live so he obviously really is real live on broadcast um i was Hello, Juliet. There she is. <laughs> the technology's working. Right, I've been playing around with the camera to try and get it right and looking the right <laughs> into the lens. Yeah, okay. Instead of the thing, you know, can't see the comments and look. And <laughs> well, that's right. Yes, I, I've set mine up now so that um, I used to have mine the other way around and somebody said, you never look at the camera. So, of course, the camera... The camera is on that end of my phone. So by putting it yes. this side, it's made it much easier. So anyway, Julia, yes. why don't you in uh, introduce yourself hello. and then we'll, we'll take it from there. <laughs> right. Well, I'm Juliet. I'm, I don't need to tell you my age, but I'm, <laughs> my business <laughs> is I'm an independent presenter for Unique is my business. Um, and I've only been doing it since last October 2016. So coming up to eight, 17 months, I've been doing it now. Mm -hmm. I haven't really like pushed it as like full on business as, as some of the presenters do. I've got a family, three children and a husband mm -hmm. thing, and it sort of fits around, around family life. So I can still be there to pick the children up from school and, mm -hmm. and to, be at home rather than be out at work yes it's not a great income but it can if i put the effort in but it's because it's an mlm business so you have to put and be very put your effort in you can't just not just go in to pay a wage you've got to go to a job and get a wage you've got to put all your Yes, you've got to the thing. Self-motivation, that's what I was trying to think. Yes, of. Yeah. To... I did a lot of MLM, so I know, you know, as my children were growing up, I've done a lot of it. And the beauty of it is it does fit in with family life, doesn't it? So yeah. um, so tell people what Unique is. Some people may not have heard of it. Some of them will, of course, have heard of it. But if you'd like to tell us what Unique is. Mm -hmm. Right, it's a... a... It's a business that's built around um, cosmetics, really. Skincare and cosmetics is the products mm -hmm. that I sell. But it was made by, it's a brother and sister team, um, um, Melanie Huscroft and Derek Maxfield. They founded the company and um, it was to fund the Unique Foundation. And I talk, can I talk about that first? Yes, yes, than... because that's what you were going to actually... <laughs> Uh, that's why why you wanted yeah. to come in, wasn't it, to tell me more about what yeah. they've done. Yeah, I just got a little bit the information about the Unique Foundation coming up. It's the Unique Foundation is a charity which um, for women who have been sexually abused, either as children or adolescents, and it, the money it helps uh, 
fund a haven retreat which is to help them heal and then obviously they have the website and got lots of information to help and i share things on my my facebook page and through my group about the um the unique foundation and what they're doing they do put a lot of well, probably more in america than here but they do put a lot of media out about because it until i came to know about the foundation I just well I knew it happened mm -hmm. and it's happened to many women throughout their childhood and and adolescence but and I don't know that personally I don't know that and personally many women that have experienced it but I know I didn't realize how What a, How, what a grand um, scale, you mean? There's, it's on quite a grand scale, yes, isn't it? Yes, there's yeah. so much. that It happens so like frequently, so much in some women's lives than they think. So it's to help the women reclaim hope and to heal from from the abuse that they've suffered because it affects, obviously, it affects their lives and relationships and things and trust. So mm -hmm. they need to heal and get over it and sometimes counseling doesn't help and they need so this retreat gives them everything all their tools they need for the rest of their life to move forward so is, is it so one that place was the thing. sorry is it one place that they can go to this yeah the have at the moment the haven retreat is only in the mountains in utah usa mm -hmm. but obviously you can find the information that's the actual retreat to um to heal from their trauma through these activities and the, the counselling and the things they do lots of therapeutic and holistic things to help them mm -hmm. but they are trying to get one over here and probably get one in in other countries in other markets where where we sell unique probably in south america or Mex well mexico they sell at the moment and america canada or probably one in australia eventually or somewhere so yeah excellent. so that's basically it and there's lots of, and then i can put the links in afterwards so say, everyone can have a look at their yes if you could put the web drop page the links. if yeah. that's affected anybody that's watching that they can get the help that they need mm -hmm. or share it so share how it for you other need, people yeah well yes and share it for other people yes right well, now i want to go back to that page i've got my tablet open here so um, Unique's mission, I said, it may, I mentioned empower, uplift, and validate. And they're three quite powerful words to help women. Mm -hmm. And then to build self esteem. Self esteem is a lot of something that a lot of us lack. We don't feel good about ourselves and don't speak nicely about ourselves. We've always, some of us put ourselves down, and, and it's not nice to hear when you hear someone put themselves down but we're probably our own worst critic aren't we mm -hmm. um so what they build self-esteem around with women around the world through high quality products that encourage both inner and outer beauty it's not just about the makeup you put on skin it's how you how it makes you feel and and they also help with spiritual enlightenment as well providing opportunities for personal growth and financial reward and for a woman to be empowered and validated and uplifted, you need those things. Mm -hmm. so, just said, you know. so is there a group for you that you can go in and you get a lot of help and guidance? Yeah, we have like almost weekly training through the, um, the actual founders, Derek and Melanie, go on live video. It's mainly through social media things so they do live videos for the group of all the presenters that are on there and and then we also get makeup tips and things and customer support come on and do a thing and then we've just um recently other um the vice president and the sales people they all come on and do different things about tell us about the new products coming out and demonstrate them and and things and then help us with is it one of the um Oh, I can't remember what his title is, but he's called Rob Morris. He does a a monthly live about called Soul Shift, which is to help us with our mindset and and our thought process and our... Jolly good. 
mm-hmm. inspiring us to, to do things. Yeah. So and yeah, just, and then <laughs> sorry, go on. Go on. Um, so recently in the UK, or I think it was last month, that the um, I will share. I haven't shared it yet on my page because I've been sharing about um, International Women's Day today instead of mainly things about the business. Um, they re- recently did a press um, launch because we haven't really done that in the UK. Um, launch into beauty bloggers and magazines, beauty magazines, and they've come and had a had to see the products and some of the presenters and those that were makeup artists went and presented the company and the products these beauty products and, and um i think it came out i don't know if it, it's this month's l magazine that there's been a write-up about one of the that we as one of the um companies that help empower women excellent that's is, good mm-hmm. some there's two others that they mentioned but i can put the find the link to that and put that in yes that'd be interesting mm-hmm. so yeah we're it's that's what I was saying. So that that was something that they were um, the company is now pushing so that more people know about it, mm-hmm. rather than just through the presenters sharing their knowledge and their makeup skills. Although I haven't got, I don't think my makeup skills are brilliant, but I'm learning. I'm learning I've... as I go, and I feel more confident as I do more. Mm-hmm. I've not. I've so watched products are made. With... Sorry, go on. Go on. That's all right. We're going to say about the products. Mm-hmm. They um, they've had scientific research. They don't test the products on animals or anything, but they can't guarantee that where they've sourced the nat- the the um not the product from the ingredients from have haven't been tested. So we haven't got a a non a, a certificate for testing our animals, and because they're bringing out new products. Every product would have to be tested and get. I think that's quite expensive to do that. But they, but they do look at natural products, natural ingredients in the products, um, and they have a team, scientific team that are researching and making things and trying to get like um, equal with other top quality brands, trying to um, bring more products into the range into the catalogue mm-hmm. so, so how and, how long uh, has um unique been going i'm not oh, sure when it was founded 2012 all oh, right okay it was october 2000 was it september october 2012 right okay i think they started in america yeah it came to the uk in 2014 I right think. okay I'm sure it's been and did the foundation start straight away? Is that something they started straight away? Well, no, they were got the money. It didn't start. They had to build, they had to get the money to build a right. haven retreat. Yeah. They yeah. did start like promoting it, that they were doing, they had this charity, but they needed the product and the and people to sell it before they had like the thing. But that before I started, it was already, I think it only probably took a year or so to, to have it all ready. Excellent. The thing, and I can't remember how many. If it, oh, I didn't check how many people have attended already. Quite a lot already have attended mm-hmm. the retreat. Like information when you need it. <laughs> Don't worry, you can put it up there when you're ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, quite a lot have already. Thing, but they pay for everything at the retreat. You just have to pay for getting over there, which for us is quite bit with airfares and things but all the food and your where your um the room is all provided and that's what they need the money for right they didn't yeah. want as much they didn't want you having to pay but it's a nice how a nice big um like mansion that they stay in in the mountains like a big lodge with outbuildings you know mm-hmm. space for a lot i think they have only have a few at a time group a smaller group mm-hmm. i can't remember how many if it's about 10 or so it's not too many too many that stay there but it's only good i was going to say yes 
So because they're brother and sister, they believe in family values and they probably that's why a lot of, of women who have families have children and want to stay at home with their children are, are sort of drawn to the, this business. Excellent. And so um, I think it's safe to say you're enjoying your unique um, experience. Well, yeah, I like the, pro the products. I know I could do more with it and it's I'm taking it slowly because I have my personal issues that I have to deal with as well. So I'm just taking it at my own speed and not sort of pushing, have to make sales and be more people that that know about me selling and I think some that have left the business and their friends that were selling it then they come to me and say oh you're selling it because I'm sharing on on Facebook and they have added them to the group or my page that yeah. you know yeah well you're, you're I'm here if they you're consistent with your marketing you know that's the beauty I mean MLM is beautiful uh, is it, the beauty of MLM is that it really fits in with family life very much and you know um, yeah. when I was doing it it was always about doing you know being consistent and doing something on a regular basis yeah. for people to know um, what you were doing and keeping on the radar and I certainly see you across my radar often <laughs> daily <laughs> yeah I'm not, never sure how many because you don't know if no one's commenting or liking that you don't know who's actually seen it but if you're just in their news feeds and you just right. keep several times a day, I don't have to see. I don't know if everybody sees every post you put, do they? But no, but, unless they go on your page. But of course, the power of live stream. I don't know. I know you have done live streams. Have you done? I haven't done it. I haven't done it recently. Oh, well, well, you know, maybe you you know get a chance to do it because it, a it grows your confidence and b it keeps you yeah. in. Um, on people's radar, um, I'm certainly finding because I live stream every day now that I am meeting people that I I don't know, and they're saying hello, Lynn, to me when I'm out in you know out and about, and they've come they into don't. the live stream, and so it, it's actually it, you know it really proves it works, um, you know. So keeping on the radar, you know, is, is um, so that when they are ready or when they hear somebody else that wants. Um, the benefit of your service they will be able to um share that on so um... mm. yeah well when i came i resisted going even coming on facebook because i knew once i was on it this was before you need that i'd want to go on um, well i am on it a lot now but i wasn't on it a lot before the business but not thing i'd never done a live before i never I didn't really do selfies or sh share my picture. I just shared quotes and things and things that interested me and the competitions and things I'd done to, that they say like and share and things. Mm -hmm. I never thing. And it took a little while to do a, a live video before while I was in the business. But mm -hmm. once you've done it once, it's not that bad. That's right. It's, it's not. I always say, feel the fear and do it anyway. That's that first time you push oh, yeah. the button is the worst one. <laughs> and you know, just from there you get. Yeah, and then when you get into it and you just start relax and you just talk into it, it's just looking at yourself on the screen. That's. <laughs> I know, but you know, um, once you get into your own subject, of course, it's much easier, isn't it? You know, yeah. because it's something you know and you're passionate about, so it comes across that way when you start your live streams. Yeah. You know, and live stream is yeah, about, well, it's about being natural, about being you. I mean, I had yeah. somebody criticize me the other day um, because I wasn't BBC standard, but I have never pretended to be I'm working for the BBC. I am me. I am my own authentic me, mm. just as you are your own authentic you. And this is how we yeah. present. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, I've always been just being myself. I'm never trying to be any anybody like anybody else or anything no, no. and I just speak the way I speak and that's it and the thing <laughs> is how I speak it the thing is you attract your own tribe we all have yeah. you know people we like and people we like a lot more uh, that's how my gran used to say it and um you know we all have mm. our own tribe and there are certain people who would would relate to somebody better somebody else better so, and, and obviously the person who was critical of me wants a bbc standard then that's absolutely fine i'm not they, bothered if he doesn't they just, watch my broadcast because if i can't please yeah, he just him needs to watch no sorry <laughs> carry on he just needs to watch the bbc doesn't he and not you 
Yes, I'm not quite sure, though, how often the BBC put out Twitter training. And that's what I was doing. I was giving away some of my knowledge. I, mean, I was doing it for free. I was helping a group with my free knowledge of how they could benefit their businesses using Twitter. Um, so, but you know, as I say, you have to bat these things off and just get on with it. You know, there'll always be somebody who wants to, um, you know, say, hey, that's not how you do it. But actually, that is how I do it. And this is how you do it. And that's perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you that's know. fine. I was thinking of something to say then. Right. Yes. From your inspiration of you doing video lives every day, I'm thinking, well, what else could I talk about? Rather than just, because all I've done is about the makeup or unboxing my makeup and showing the products and things. But I could find other things to talk about to let people know who I am. And not I'm not just a unique presenter. Mm -hmm. I am a person and I've got other interests. Like, um, I've, yeah, because I, since knowing about the International Women's Day, I've been part of the Women's Centre in Newport. I went and did a little, that's on my Facebook, a little square, denim square I did to go in part of that and the, my crafts and my other interests. I don't really want to talk much about my family. Oh, no, and you don't know me. And you don't have to. So. That's the beauty. You talk about what you want to talk about. Um, you mm. know, I mean, with, with my my grandchildren, we don't present them to the world. You know, they, they're a bit of my story. So you'll know that I'm a granny. And you know that I go off and do granny duty, but you don't see them because that's a part we don't want to yeah. do. Yeah. But it's still be mentioned yeah. in your story. You know, I mean, obviously you've just said yeah, about your family. But... Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. I've decided not to share because my profile is public not to share pictures of my children on my public profile I might share some with friends like their first day at school because mm -hmm. I've heard of horrible stories what things had shared it last week earlier in the week or last week about a story that somewhat person has shared a picture of their child there where they went to school and then it's in a, a country either South America or Africa where they can just take other people can take children out of school and is in a sex trafficking oh gosh um yeah. case yeah so i was like hearing that and someone else shared um shared something a while ago and i thought well maybe i shouldn't be sharing form pictures like your daughter is more doesn't want her children on yeah on camera on um, mm -hmm. public profile <laughs> yes i mean uh, but 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 obviously with um with social media and um, using it for promoting our businesses we are storytellers yeah. these days it's all around telling yeah. your story and so because yeah. i have grandchildren which is part of my story because obviously when i go on granny duty if i wasn't live streaming i'd suddenly be a gap wouldn't there between when i went away and when i yeah. came back um, so we get round it by just as, uh, you know, if I'm doing the cooking, if I'm teaching them to cook or doing some cakes with them, you'll see a hand in a bowl. Or if I'm teaching them to knit, you'll see the hands on the knitting needles, but you don't see any more than yeah. that, you know. And that, that puts it into my story in a way that doesn't include, that you know, includes them, but doesn't include them. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. that's probably the Yeah, and you had all their feet or their wheels in, didn't you? Yes. When you went out on your freely day. Yes, that's right. Oh, my goodness. That was a day and a half. Um, and I will, for those of you who don't know, um, Juliet's referring to a day recently. I, I went to do granny duty. I had the children. I've got, I've got four grandchildren. And I had them all overnight for three nights. And my daughter and her husband went away, leaving me in charge. And the first day, um, I took four of them all out. They're all, they're under 11 and we had four of them on wheels, <laughs> two of them on uh, scooters, one on rollerblades and one on what they call heelys, those little things that attach to the back of the shoe. And um, 
I have to say, well, I was so exhausted. Normally I'm a night owl. I was in bed by 10 o'clock that night. So I didn't do my 10 o'clock live stream that night. You know, I was so tired, but it was, it was fun. And the next day I was more relaxed because I, I, I did the same thing the next day. We went out again across the main road, along the street to the shops and that. Um, but I was more relaxed because I knew that they were going to stop at the right place. My daughter said they would stop at the right places, but until I actually yes, experienced it, I wasn't sure <laughs> but the next day was more relaxing so yes and um and it is you know it's fun it's fun it is all part of the story but as you so you've built up a picture of what I was doing without actually seeing the children so yeah. you know yeah. it, it's but we have to be we have to start, start doing a bit more of that especially when we go like away but then I don't always want people to know where I am and what I'm doing no that's right <laughs> either that's right you could always do it sometimes. you can do it if if you don't want to do it as a live stream you can do it as a video mm. and put it up afterwards when you're back you know because that's um, yeah that's the other thing is you know identifying if you're away um that that can make you a target uh for, for things as well so um you know, you you can do it on the video instead of the live stream. So yeah. we just have to be a bit. Yeah, when I. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, when you check check in somewhere, I always think when I was away last year in Weymouth, it kept checking me in every time I went back to the hotel. Yes. I checked in and then delete it. <laughs> Yes, you Delete can. Where I am. You can put your location off. I often I usually put my location off yeah. when I don't want to identify yeah. where and I am. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's about still being safe while you're being public and sharing your business. That's right. Yes, but um, to be safe. but of course, social media is one of the best ways um, to get your business out there. You're yeah. using you're using Twitter now, aren't you? As well, I think. Well, occasionally. I'm not doing it regularly. No. I'm more Instagram than Twitter, but right. I need probably I need your training with that. Yeah, we can have a little what sit down part? and a hand hand holding. I was at um I was at the Ride Business Association meeting last night and um there's see there on Twitter with Twitter there's still a lot of people who don't understand the power. I mean, you can't be on every platform. Mm. Uh, people like me can because I teach social media, you know, so that's what I do. And so I will be on every platform. But um, you have to find what's good for you and what's right for you. But I know there are a lot of businesses who would do um, so, you know, would would perform very well if they understood Twitter and Twitter um, is easy to understand once you, you know, it's baby steps, very easy under, to understand loads and loads of tools go with Twitter that people yet don't know. There's Twitter chats, there's Twitter lists, there's Twitter moments, there's something else. What did I find out like tonight? I was listening to an expert in, on a Twitter chat tonight and there's twi now Twitter bookmarks as well, which I didn't realise and I've just got to yeah. look at that. So much there. Um, so I will be doing, so I am actually last night, I'm, I was at, uh, as I say, at the Ride Business Association meeting and there was somebody there who's offered me a facility in his his premises to actually do some Twitter training so I'll let you know about that when I thought I'm going to go and see him on Saturday and that was a bit of networking that happened last night um, over there so um, anyway I think um, that you you know thank you so much for offering to come onto the broadcast tonight um, for International Women's Day um, I take it you've had a good yeah. day have you <laughs> have you had a good day yeah, I was out I was out shopping in Newport and I went to the women's centre in Newport oh, yes. to do my little yeah. daily work mm -hmm. and I actually mm -hmm. met she was in the broadcast earlier I didn't have time because I had other shopping to do I met Julia Lawson Lawson oh yes Lawson. yes yeah yeah that's right she I don't know if she's yes. watching because she mm -hmm. wouldn't I didn't have time to stay and chat with her we we're gonna have a, a coffee or well I don't drink coffee but we we're gonna go in the cafe and chat because we I think we've met I don't know if she was at that um, the women's lunch, the ladies' lunch ladies. thing. I don't know if she's at that lady. She's the first, the only one I've been to. But I think she was there, and I said introduced ourselves to each other. Yes, yeah, she has. But she yeah. was doing a thing, getting rid of getting rid of her book. She had she put on her Facebook. I was following on Facebook that um, she was trying to get rid of her books and was giving them away if you shared it and things. And I shared that, and she gave me a book. Right. Which um, is a well, the 
the author has asked if whoever reads the book, she's got a compliment slip in, if you give her a review on Amazon and then give the book to someone else so they can have read it and give a review for her. All right. So it's helping so, what, people. What was the book called? Can you remember? I haven't got it up no. okay. here with, right next to me. About um, something about a cafe or something. Right. I can put that link in. All right. I well, can. I'll be giving it away when I finish reading it. I'll be giving it away. Right. I will. Whoever are. <laughs> interested. Good. Good. But yeah, I was thinking of what I could do. I could have done more, but I don't always feel like doing doing everything that I think of doing. No. Like sharing everything and no. doing things. I just go up what mm -hmm. things. But I'm not. I'm just at the moment just being in my comfort zone rather than rather than going out of my comfort zone I'm not but I, I need a bit more um I have to say that you really have blossoms in the year that I've known you because it did you hear me say yeah, yeah. it's about a year because it came up in our time hop didn't yeah. it the other day that it we, just came up on my yeah yeah that we um just it came from yours it came from mine <laughs> yeah that's right and um I think we did we meet the first time we met was in Kivas wasn't it was that the first time I met you no maybe that was the, that was the first of your networking I went to but we met in Baby Chino oh did we oh yes um, yes Mm -hmm. Rebecca introduced us because I was there seeing Rebecca and you come in and that's right and I'd asked her about so not social about networking I'd asked her about because yes. I've just started this business yeah and she said well Lynn's the, the woman that she, she goes to <laughs> although now I'm in different networking groups and I've met different people mm -hmm. it doesn't mean it's who finds out about you. it's not necessarily who's going to buy your products or who's going to no. join the team that's right it's it's Just, yeah yeah i can sponsor people who want to become a presenter as well and help them i haven't i've done that with one friend so far and then she decided that it wasn't for her but i don't know if i'm not not i don't know if i'm ready i know when the time comes that someone else wants to join that i don't know that well that they i've attracted them to um, my tribe I've attracted them to the business that they want to join through me and want me to be their sponsor now, I know I will step up and I know I can do that but at the moment I don't feel ready but I know I can when the time comes it's just mm -hmm. helping I'm ready to help other women or other even men there are a few men in the who are presenters that mm -hmm. like makeup and want to share with other women the men that wear makeup and show do videos is one a man that's in um i think he's nottingham show or midlands um northampton somewhere west mid east midlands in the country that he wears makeup and he's very good at thing and he's progressing through the, the company building a team and promoting because they have different like levels it's not a pay level, but more you get more rewards for mm -hmm. getting higher up in the. That's how MLM works. Excellent. And it's not, and it's not as many people think a pyramid scheme. No. <laughs> <laughs> there is a business. Everybody gets something from it. There is a business. There are products. You can, and you're your own independent presenter, and you do your run your business how you want. You've just got lots of women and a. A bigger team to help you because I've got a sponsor and then she's got a sponsor and then there's all a big like they call it a family mm -hmm. the the Y family the unique family or a, when you've got women a sisterhood they call it that it's we all feel like we're one big family and not and lots of made new friends and and things it's not just about you running your business on your own mm. You can get as much help as you need yeah and actually um of course I, I say i've been in mlm and karen who's in here she was connected to me in a previous mlm business that i did mm -hmm. and then i've been watching today online loads and loads of the people that were in that family 
um, when I sold children's books and we were all part of a big family. We're not all necessarily connected to each other, but some of us had won holidays. And I noticed that one of the girls was going, has just booked a holiday to Sorrento. And actually quite a few of us won a holiday to Sorrento. So there was a lot of reminiscing going on the page today. It was quite interesting that actually mm -hmm. happened today. So, um, and this is from years ago, um, that business I yeah. left um, in 2009, um, and I can't remember when the Sorrento holiday was. That would have been before that. So, you know, that's quite some years. But through the beauty of Facebook, we've all, we've connected or reconnected, yeah. us, found yeah. each other since then. And it's really nice to actually keep up and, um, you know, share stories with those people. So it's really nice. <laughs> so um, there we go. Yeah, and I've um, through my through now online networking, finding other women that are in different networking, different MLM companies, and we can share things. There's a lot of them. I haven't got involved in a selling group that they share and sell each other's thing, but they do like market nights where they oh, right. share mm -hmm. different their own products or market weeks because they each have like an hour slot and they share their products and then someone else does and they sort of buy from each other or get other their other friends so that their friends and then about other people's companies and things which I bought from some of them and they run competitions so you can win prizes mm -hmm. so that encourages people and I have done that in the past although Facebook don't really like that doing competitions on you have to put that in your own group or mm -hmm. do a private group rather than on your public profile but and it's nice that quite a few of my, well, I'll put my thumb over the screen, do that one. <laughs> quite a few of my friends have been watching that they've come in and probably gone out. Excellent. Mine says it's only yes, I mean, I, I do get um, quite a lot of people, you know, obviously we put it out in advance tonight, um, uh, of tonight. And um, we do, I mean, this is such a powerful way of getting through to people and so most nights i have up to 100 people in the broadcast and then mm. yeah, as i say one night recently we had a two oh, 200 people plus in the broadcast so it really is building momentum so anyway juliet thank you so much for giving up your time yeah. to join me here in the broadcast um and we you know we have um, some of our regular people and we had some new people popping in there and um so oh, any of you who've got that value of it please can you share because sharing is caring so that other people get to know and um so as i say thank you juliet for spending your time here thank the viewers very much for joining us yet again and um we will be back in another broadcast sometime soon bye for now thank you <laughs> and a, a big thank you to juliet there um for spending her time and joining me and i'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.